origins of stage magic. So let's talk about the uh, the beginning of it all. You know, we're again we're talking about uh, movie magic. So we have to talk about what magic is and where did it start entertainment wise. Okay, so the father of modern uh, entertainment magic was G, uh, Jean Eugene Robert Houdin. Houdin. He was originally a clockmaker who opened a magic theater in Paris, 1845. He transformed his art from one. Uh, he transformed his art from uh, one performed at fairs to a performance that the public paid to see at the theater. So he was the father of stage magic. Um, he built it up to a place where people wanted to see his shows. Um, you know, he is, um, in a lot of people's mind, uh, you know, the, the Michael Jordan of magic. His specialty was constructing mechanical automa that uh, appeared to move and act as if it was alive. And I think, you know, that comes from his clockmaking background that he liked automa automations um, and, and use them. Many of Robert Houdin's uh, me mechanisms for illusion were pirated by his assistant and ended up in the performances of his rivals, uh, John Henry Anderson and Alexander Herman. Obviously, if you're doing great, people are going to want to copy you, um, you know, and, um, you know, do uh, copying is a form of flattery in a lot of ways. Since Robert uh, Eugene Houdin was doing it, people wanted to do it as well, um, and they wanted to snake him. But uh, I think what's important is when we look at modern stage magic and the origins of it and look at Robert Houdin, Houdin um, the phrase comes to mind to myself, time is an illusion, right? So how fitting is... One of the greatest illusionists ever in the stage magic space was building clocks, which is, I mean, it is the focal point of our illusion in our society and matrix. You know, if we didn't have trade, business, exchange, which I'm not even saying that's a bad thing, I just, I'm talking about it, is... Without those things, if we just lived on Earth in our space and not worried about having to be somewhere at some time or owing someone this at, at this case, you know, what, what would the use of clocks be, right? So time is an illusion. Robert Houdin. I think that's fascinating. Uh, we have some of his posters back in the day, which is great. And again, we're going to get into, uh, you know, uh, movie magic, stage magic. These look like great movie posters. And, you know, Paris wasn't hotbed for entertainment back in the day in the 1800s, in the 1900s, 1800s, 1800s 1800s, right? And so for some Tramatria, a clock displays the illusion of time equals 137 in English reduction, which is the 33rd prime 33 then we have uh magician automation a clockmaker all equaling 39 in english reduction um robert houdin was a magician he was a clockmaker and i mean really a clock is just an automation as well and he had a fascination with automation devices um, so again, all aligned. This is all like fascinating things. This is uh, Robert right here, Eugene Houdin. Then I have Paris, France, and a magical hotbed, both equaling fifty-six in reduction. Magic with only a C. So I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, play with the numbers too much. I kept it as is, right? A magical hotbed because a lot of people were doing stage magic in a day. That was the money maker. If you wanted to be in the entertainment business, that's what you would be doing. And another one I have is Saturn and a clockmaker. They both equal 93 in uh, in 
English ordinal. I think that's important because uh, Saturn is the planet of, you know, considered time, structure, and, and whatnot. So a clockmaker, Saturn, you know, those two combined together, I think that's a powerful gematria combination. And, uh, and a lot of people would say Saturn controls our illusion, you know, they have a, a, a black cube on the, on the, on the planet. Um, you know, that's getting in deeper into other seg segments we might talk about later in other presentations. Um, but there's a lot of connections there and you can see, uh, 39 is the reverse of 93. And then at the bottom, we have Paris, France for modern stage magic work equals 2,220 in English Sumerian. So we have that 222 when you take off that zero. So those are the, the basic origins of stage magic. Um, there are other great musicians in the era, but mostly what I wanted to uh, get out of this was show you the, the similarities. Time is an illusion. Robert Houdin made automation clocks, which then turned into stage magic shows, which will then turn into cinema. So let's move on.